and welcome to Gonna Geek Gear. I'm SP from Better Podcasting and GunnaGeek.com. Today, I have a little frustration to vent, but it's also tech related. So we're gonna go through this and hopefully it will help somebody else that's also having the same issue. So here's the thing going on. My daughter who dances on the varsity competitive dance team for her high school, she's having a viewing party for the college national championships, which are going on right now in Florida in Disney World. It is Saturday, the 13th of January, 2018. And I bought the streaming package that you can get through varsity.tv in order to be able to view this live event. And it had a couple of apps that were advertised. One was through an Apple TV fourth generation. I don't have any of those, but another was through the Roku devices. And I do have some Roku premieres and premiere pluses in the house. So I thought, Hey, this is going to be great. I can view these through those devices. So the issue was I was one short, so I went out and bought a refurbished Roku Premiere Plus. And oh, by the way, Roku, kudos on the B stock circular photo, circular sticker that was here, because what you did is you made me mar the device trying to get it off. Yes, I'm grateful to know that this was B stock, meaning refurbished or previous use. I get that but you made me mar it trying to get it off. So that's not cool, but I don't know where the issue is. Here's my problem. I threw it on the TV when I got it earlier this year. I downloaded the specific app on Roku, which by the way is called Flow Sports. It's all one word, F-L-O sports. And I downloaded the app, worked great. I actually watched some videos that were standard videos, not live stream, but it's just standard videos that they have on there and it worked great. I thought this is going to be easy. Well, when the live event started this weekend, I went to go just double check to make sure everything would work. And then it doesn't because in about 20, 30 seconds in of watching any of the live events, the screen goes black. The audio is still there for about another 30, 45 seconds. And then it says signal completely lost. At first I thought it was this refurbished Premiere Plus, but I tried it out on three other Roku devices I have in the house and it is not the Roku devices. It's not my internet connection either because I can get the stream just fine through my computers in the house. And then what I did is I loaded up the app on my iPhone and just went to go check to see if it was there. It is there. Flow Sports is an iOS app. So I loaded up the app and it streamed just fine through the app. And so I was like, okay, maybe I can stream it through Apple TV. Unfortunately, I don't have an Apple TV fourth generation, but I do have two Apple TV third generations. So I went ahead and tried to load the app on them. Of course, you can't load any apps on the Apple TV. What they give you is what they give you, which is, I guess, good for configuration control, but it's maddening when you're trying to do something like this. So yes, Flow Sports is not available on the Apple TV third generation. So what I did is I noticed that there's the AirPlay symbol on the iOS app and I was able to push it through. The problem is this is going to be an all day thing. I don't want to lose my phone for an entire day of streaming. Fortunately, I was able to go in and I've got an iPhone 5S and an iPhone 6 that are old. They're not being used anymore. And I can go ahead and make sure they're updated before this viewing party starts and then plug them in so that they can go ahead and airstream AirPlay all day long and that will be fine. But that's just a lot of workarounds to be able to do something that should be easy to do. I contacted varsity.tv. They have a contact uh, page on their contact uh, on the varsity TV website. So I went ahead, contacted them, tried to call them. Of course, it's the weekend, so no technical support is available. And I did send in a ticket so you can actually write one in too. I sent one in as well. Have no idea if they're going to be able to respond to it this weekend. It is a three-day weekend here in the United States. So eventually, hopefully this will get solved. But just so you know how to solve this, if you indeed have all these components that you could throw ahead, throw together and have the same issue. It's just very frustrating to me to have to do this when I have perfectly good streaming devices. And oh, by the way, I tried to look for the app on the Xbox or even website search. Can't do that anymore either. 
I'm sure a lot of you already know a lot of this, but hopefully this helps the one dad or the one mom that is looking on YouTube this weekend that is trying to figure out what is going on. And I'm venting my frustrations and hopefully that somebody will be able to get some help out of this. So if you have a question about this or a suggestion or a comment, please leave it down below. If you like other geeky content, you can go to gunnageek.com. And also, if you like videos like this or podcasting tech gear, which is usually what I video about, you can go ahead and subscribe down below and you can get more videos like this. Until next time, I'm SP and we'll see you later. Thanks for dropping by. Bye.